Yeah, it's going to be a very cold night tonight as you're heading out the door early tomorrow morning to wherever your Friday morning is taking you. Bundle up. Temperatures tonight dropping to well below freezing. It is going to be cool tomorrow. Tomorrow's high temperatures very similar to what we had out there today. But the good news is if you have any outdoor plans this weekend, perhaps you're going to the Air Force Army game. I think that Mother Nature is going to cooperate quite nicely. I want to talk about your high temperatures tomorrow after a bitterly cold start. We are going to warm up at least somewhat. Temperatures still staying chilly, though. From Denver to Colorado Springs, we're in the 40s. Farther toward the south along I-25, we will be in the 50s with mid to upper 50s for the southeastern corner of the state. Not going to rebound too much in Leadville, though. Only warming to 25 tomorrow afternoon. I want to walk you through Skycast beginning at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We are expecting to see a bit more in the way of snow early tomorrow morning, and we could have a few scattered showers out across the far eastern plains, really hanging out right along the I 70 corridor. As we take you through the day, most areas are going to stay dry. We'll have a mixture of clouds and sun through the day. Here's a look at lunchtime. All the while, snow continuing to pile up over the ski resorts. As we take you into the afternoon, it's very possible that we could see a line of showers sliding south across southern Colorado, could impact the Pikes Peak region with just some very light rain. I don't expect that we'll see any showers, at least for the lower elevations, that will impact any travel plans tomorrow, just in more of an inconvenience than anything else. Anything that manages to develop tomorrow afternoon will come to an end by 9 o'clock, the only exception being a few lingering snow showers across the San Grace and the Wet Mountains. Taking you into your seven day forecast, we are expecting temperatures, as I mentioned, to warm up this weekend. 47 tomorrow, 50 on Saturday. We are back in the 60s, though. Sunday into to Monday. We'll cool it down into the 50s Tuesday. Next week, we're going to do it all again. Another cold front moves through, drops temperatures back into the 40s, brings another chance at some rain and snow for southern Colorado. Pueblo 54 tomorrow, 57 on Saturday. 60s are back Sunday into Monday. We'll keep the 60s around through Tuesday. Late Tuesday, our front pushes through, drops our Wednesday into the 50s. In Canyon City tomorrow, 52. We'll keep the low 50s in place on Saturday. Saturday will feel nicer, though, since we will have more sunshine. We'll keep the sun around through Sunday. See a few more clouds building in Monday, and then our cold front slides through on Tuesday. In Delaware County, 40 tomorrow, 44 on Saturday. 50s expected Sunday, Monday. We will drop the temperature, though, back into the 30s as we take you into Wednesday of next week. Tuesday, Wednesday, actually looking to be a bit of an active time frame. So it looks like we have another blast of winter. But until then, the weekend actually shaping up to be a very nice November weekend here in Colorado. Yeah, looking okay? good. Yeah, Hunker nice. down tomorrow. And